Hi everybody. Uh, in this video tip, I'm just going to make a, a quick, couple of quick comments about uh, presence-only data. So there's lots of techniques that people have developed for looking at species distributions uh, based on presence-only data, which often happens when people have things like museum, uh, sorry, museum records and collections, uh, and also things like uh, citizen science situations where you have volunteer reporting of where they've found certain species of interest. Now one of the issues when you have presence only data is that you don't know the sampling scheme. You don't know whereabouts people have looked uh, for the species of interest. So you end up with all these sort of dots on a map uh, in terms of where the species have been found. But in areas where you don't have any dots, it's not certain whether the species um, has been looked for in those areas and hasn't been found or whether just no one's looked there yet. So that's one of the issues with, with presence only data is that you don't really have a good idea of that sampling coverage. And so people have developed techniques for things like you know, pseudo absences or make assumptions about you know, perhaps where they've looked, like they've assumed some sort of random coverage across the area of interest. Uh, but in reality, oftentimes that's pretty hard to justify. And so you know, sometimes you can use you know, other species, records of other species to sort of identify the, the sort of sampling coverage of the area, uh, which may be fine. But better yet is actually design your study in the first place. Design your study so you have good coverage across the area so that you have both presences and absences being collected uh, and make sure they've been recorded too. And this is really important too, I think, with the increase in things like the citizen science projects and, and web-based reporting that people have now. Um, encourage people not only to record where they've found species, but also where they've looked for them. You know, keep a diary of, of where they've looked for the species uh, while they've been out there looking for it. Because then we can actually figure out the absences and you know our inferences from that data be much more robust. So there you have it. That's my, my tip for this week uh, or for this video. Um, don't collect presence only data, please. Um, try and collect both the uh, absence data as well. Uh, and better yet, there may be detection issues that you need to consider as um, an addition to that. So um, until next time, see you later. Bye.